Hi, I'm Aaron Gasser. I'll be taking you through other stretches you can apply to your basic warm-up. This will add more variety to your stretching and shock your muscles, meaning better results. Bring your right arm across your body, pull towards you with your left hand. For a better stretch, lift above your shoulder and pull towards you. Once you're doing this, make sure your shoulders and hips stay pointing forwards. Obviously, to go to the other side, bring your left arm across, pull towards the right, again for a better stretch, above the shoulder and pull towards you. Bring your right arm over the top, place in the centre of your back, use your left hand now just to push gently down until you feel a nice stretch. Obviously once you've done that side, bring your left hand over the top in the centre of the back and just push down. Again right in the centre of your back. Arms up shoulder height, make sure now your feet stay pointed forwards. And all we're going to do is two elbows to the left, two elbows to the right. My time. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, take your right leg into the side. Lock your left leg straight. Obviously now you're going to stay on the flat of your foot for the blade. Make sure your knee doesn't go past your toes because obviously then you're putting too much pressure on your knees and you damage your knee. All we're going to do then is turn on the ball of the foot so our knee is pointing downwards. And then obviously we can lean forward, get a nice stretch. Obviously we go back, drop into this position. Turn on the ball, back into that position. Another thing I, I normally put in just for the kids as well, just have a little bit of fun, put their hands down onto the side, and then we try and drop down, okay, nose to the floor. The kids like it if you do press ups. Looks a bit funny, but they find it quite fun. Okay, going on to the other side then, it's exactly the same, obviously, the position, all we're doing is just the opposite leg. Right, space your legs, lock your legs straight, toes point in forwards. All we're going to do now is bring our body around and stretch down to our legs, stomach, chest and head, stretching down to the shin. Once you've done to your right, go straight over, around, come to our left. Hold for about six to eight seconds and repeat the stretch a few times. Once you've done that, grab both your ankles. Once you breathe in, just come up and breathe out. Go straight down in between your feet. Again, repeat a few times. Crouch down, put your fingertips to the side on your left hand side. We're going to straighten our legs, just give us a little bit of a different stretch now. Our feet are obviously together, still pointing with our toes forward. All we're going to do is walk around nice and slowly on our fingertips to hit different parts of our calves and obviously the hamstrings. Obviously once you've gone that side then, go back the other way. Okay, and then bend. Obviously, if you're a little bit more senior or a little bit more flexible, you can drop onto your knuckles, do exactly the same thing, walk around your knuckles, and obviously come back. Again, if you're more advanced, you can go onto your palms, and you can walk around with your palms. Okay, go into the crouch down position. Take your right leg out to the side, obviously put your hands on the floor for balance. Good game for the kids, obviously, if you want to lift your hands up, you get to clap, so obviously they practice their balance as well. Once obviously you've done that, you're going to stretch down, grab the ball of your foot, and just lean forward slightly, just to put a little bit more pressure down the hamstring. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can bend the arm, and you can try and get your elbow to the floor while still keeping your legs straight. Once you've done with your toes pointing up, once we can turn to the side, this helps us obviously with the side kick, hook kicks. And our turning kicks, stretch down, grab the blade of the foot again, try and drop down. If you can drop that elbow as well whilst keeping the leg straight, do that as well. Once we've done that, then toes back up towards the ceiling, turn your toes away, so mainly for our twist kick. Stretch down, grab the heel, and just tilt forward slightly again, just put that little bit more pressure in. Okay, once we've done the right, bring the right leg in, left leg out to the side. Obviously, you can do the Clap in again if you want to with the kids. Stretch down, just grab the ball of the foot, bend your arm. See if you can obviously drop it all the way down to the floor. Turn your foot onto the side, grab the blade, exactly the same. Toes point towards the ceiling, turn them away, stretch down, grab your heel. Obviously you hold the stretches a little bit longer and you repeat them a few times. Right, just like the last stretch now with our right leg out to the side, we're on our ball of the foot. What we're going to do is just change a little bit of variation. Drop onto the flat. Obviously this will give you a bit of a deeper stretch. A little bit harder obviously to hold again. 
on. So you can grab and try and get your elbow to touch the floor again. Same with the side kick or the blade of the foot. And toes stretching up and we can do the same with the weight as well. Good game for the kids with this one as well is also to sit down and see if they can just get back up into this position just for a little bit of fun. Obviously you'll do them on both sides. Right, okay, grab your right to your right foot. Normally we're gonna be going out to the side and we grab with our right hand. The only difference now is we're gonna grab with our left hand and we're gonna go to the opposite way with the same leg. So we're gonna cross over. Okay, so when we straighten the leg, then you should feel a nice stretch all down the back of your leg and into your glute. What we do then is just bend, relax, and back out. Once we've done this a few times on the last one, I normally go all the way across and then all the way as far as you can go across to the other side and then we fold in. Obviously then we do exactly the same with the other leg, we just grab the outer edge of our left foot with our right hand when we extend leg. Okay, sit down, space your legs out, try and drop your elbows on the floor in front of you. If you can't do that, obviously you can stay on your palms. What you do then is just rest there a little bit, just obviously make sure you feel nice and comfortable when you stretch. Then we're going to go to 45 degrees to your right and all we're going to do then is stretch out as far as we can keeping our forearms on the floor. And then we slowly come back, stay at 45, come back to the centre, go over to your left, stretch out, keep the forearms down again and then back to centre. After you've done that a few times then normally we go back to stretching the out right in front. Okay, just sit down, put your right leg out to the side, fold your left leg in. If you've um, got a bad knee or a little bit of problems with your knee, stay in this position. If you're a little bit more flexible, put your leg behind. Okay, we push forward again to create that wider angle. Normally we just stretch straight down to the front. Variations we can add now is turn the foot. This will put a little bit more pressure in your groin and hips, so be careful. Stretching down then, we can either stretch around or we can actually just come straight on top, but you won't be able to get all the way down. Right, okay, once we've done that then, we can turn our toes away for another variation, make sure we keep our legs straight again, and then stretching down straight. And toes back up. After you've done that then, I recommend you start stretching a little bit in the middle as well, because this will improve this side as well as the other side. When you finish your basic warm-up, you can attempt to go into the splits, but to do it safely, we can use the other stretch and then work our way down. So earlier we did the lunge, we stepped out to the side. What you're going to do is make sure you're on a nice line now so you can see as well. You're going to put your hands either side and you're going to slowly slide out. Now, you might be here. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, just hold it there, get used to it a little bit. Eventually, obviously, you're going to drop all the way down. And then obviously if you want to, a bit, a bit more of a stretch, you can stretch down to the front as well. A lot of people find the lock in the back leg straight a problem. So what you can do is have it bent and just try and tense and then relax it. Tense and relax and eventually you'll be able to lock it straight. For front split, go into the lunge again. Put your hands by the side and as we slide out now, all you can do is turn your instep towards the floor and then slide out into your splits. Again, if you want to, you can stretch forward. If you're struggling to get in that position, obviously you can just hover above. For box splits, if we space our legs like we did earlier, they are legs locked straight towards the front. All we can do is put our hands down, and we can slowly slide out. And if we stick on that line, we can have our toes pointed forwards just to start. That should be a little bit easier. And then we, all we have to do then is change to toes up again. If you struggle, you can just keep our hands here and hover above. That way then, if, you, if you're finding it too difficult to stretch, all you have to do is fall forwards, and then obviously you're out in the stretch so you don't damage yourself. Hopefully this video will improve your flexibility, so keep at it and achieve your goals. Stay tuned for my next video, and subscribe if you haven't already.